Hey y'all, Leela here with Miss Kiss Creations. Welcome back to my channel. Today's Tumblr tutorial, I'm going to show you how I created this cow print tumbler. Like always, all of my materials will be listed in my description below, including some direct links and coupon codes. And don't forget, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok for more Tumblr tips and tricks. And with all that being said, let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial. I'm starting with a 30 ounce stainless steel tumbler that I purchased from Makerflow Crafts. I'm going to prep my tumbler by sanding my tumbler down with a 100 grit sanding block. You wanna make sure you're sanding around the entire tumbler, including the bottom of the tumbler and the top. And you don't have to use a 100 grit sanding block. You can use 180, 120, or even 80 or 60. After I sand my tumbler, I then wipe my tumbler down with my 91% alcohol. You want to make sure that you're using at least 91% alcohol. That's strong enough to uh, make sure that epoxy stays on that uh, tumbler so that epoxy doesn't repel. It removes all that oil that may have been placed on your tumbler. And now let's move on to adding the designs on the tumbler. So I'm going to add Diamonds 3.0 from Glitter Heart Co. all over this tumbler. I wanted like a thicker like cut and the way I'm going to apply this glitter is with my pop of color pure white and then I use my wet and wild makeup brush if you want you can spray paint your tumbler white and then apply your glitter using Mod Podge or you can do the Mod Podge mixed with acrylic paint method whichever way you want to do it do the way that you want to do it so you can also use the epoxy method but this is really easy for me because it was cold outside and I hate leaving my craft room when it's cold so I'm just going to apply this paint all over my tumbler make sure that I'm that you are using a uh, like a decent paintbrush, so that's why I love these makeup brushes, and make sure that you're applying an even coat, and don't forget that bottom. And remember, I'm using this paint as my adhesive for my glitter, so I am applying this paint all around the tumbler, and then I'm adding that glitter immediately while that paint is still wet. I did not wait, I just put that paintbrush down, and then I added my glitter all over my tumbler, taking my glitter and just dumping that stuff all around the tumbler. It's really that easy, especially since this is one coat. And just make sure you have that tumbler completely covered with that glitter. This glitter is super gorgeous. I love how it has that like silver undertone to it. I don't know how to explain it, but it is just super sparkly with that silver flakes inside of it. And then once you're finished with the glitter, you're going to spray your tumbler with your Krylon Crystal Clear Acrylic Coating. You could do this right after you glitter, just to make sure you allow this acrylic coating in the paint to dry underneath your glitter. And you can also use your clear spray paint or whatever you use to seal your glitter, but make sure you have something to seal your glitter before moving on to that next step. And once that sealer is nice and dry, I'm going to add my alcohol inks. I'm using teak wood from Tim Holtz and then black from T-Rex. Use any black you have on hand. And then I have this Dollar Tree brush that I have. It's one of those like cheaper ones you can get from like, you know, Lowe's or Home Depot. I don't know what it's called, but I'll have it linked in my description below if you guys need the name. And let's add that cow print. So all I'm doing is I'm adding a little bit of alcohol ink first because I was like nervous. I didn't want to like overdo this. So uh, a little bit goes a long way. So add a couple drops and then I'm taking that brush and then I'm blotting those inks. The reason why I'm taking that brush is to create like kind of like a messy look around the cow, the cow print. So I didn't want just like blobs of ink on this beautiful white tumbler. I wanted it to look like a real cow or look like kind of messy and not so perfect, if that makes sense. So all I'm doing again is I'm adding that ink right to the tumbler. I'm adding small bits at a time because you can always add more. So keep that in mind, especially adding this dark brown and this black to this tumbler. Just add little spots. You can always create the bigger spots around your tumbler. Make your prints as big or as little as you want. I started little because I was freaking out at first, and then you'll see that I, I make this print just a little bit bigger. Make sure whenever you're adding that ink to the tumbler, you're keeping that ink sticking straight up, so I'm not spinning that tumbler after I'm adding those inks, because if you spin it, then your inks might drip down. But me sealing this tumbler first really do, or does, <laughs> allow that ink to stay in place. So that's why sealing this tumbler's glitter before adding that ink really does make a difference i found so you'll see that it's starting to drip at the bottom because well i'm literally adding that alcohol ink and it's you know just dripping but it's not dripping as much as it would if i didn't seal this with my acrylic sealer 
And another thing I want to mention is I have like 10 to 15, I don't know how many browns I have on hand, but I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know what colors to use. So I literally went to my brown like container of alcohol links and I closed my eyes and I just grabbed the first brown that I grabbed and it happened to be teak wood. So I didn't like go out and buy this teak wood or buy a specific color. If I would have like grabbed caramel from Tim Holtz, I would have used caramel. I didn't want to overanalyze this because I know cows come in different colors. So um, yeah, so I just grabbed teak wood and that's what I grabbed. So use any brown that you have on hand. I believe that if you even use a lighter or darker brown, it's going to look just as beautiful. Um, just really take your time with it and just understand that cows, they come in different colors like us. So, you know, they're not all made equally, equally, but they're all super beautiful in their own way, right? <laughs> Okay, let's get back on track. So you'll see that my little cow prints are getting a little bigger as we're going on. And you'll see that those cow prints are looking a little messy, right? So some of those alcohol ink flakes like flaked from my brush back onto the tumbler and I left that there. Again, I didn't want a pure white surface. I wanted it to look a little messy. And then I took my alcohol inks and I kind of shook them very lightly, like over the white glitter, just to have like less bare spots. So that's what I was really going for to um, have just like a little bit of spots and not too much because I know a lot of these alcohol inks, like the openings, some of them are really big. So it's hard to have just a little bit of ink on your tumblers or like have it come out. So like I said, just take your time with this and don't overanalyze it. If you need to put down the tumbler and walk away and look at it later, then go ahead and do that. If you know, you know. And also you can always open up like a picture of a cow and just try to match it or something or a picture of another Tumblr creator's cow print tumbler. I don't know, maybe mine. Find me on Instagram and TikTok and YouTube. <laughs> Okay, my coffee is hitting way too hard this morning, so I'm going to be quiet and I'll see y'all after this step. So now that I'm satisfied with my cow prints, I'm going in again with my Krylon Crystal Clear Acrylic Coating just to make sure those inks are completely locked in. I let that dry for about 25 to 30 minutes. That's it. And then I go in with my epoxy. So I don't let this sit overnight or anything with that Crystal Clear Acrylic Coating. It is ready to be epoxied. For my first coat of epoxy, I used about 40 milliliters of epoxy, so 20 mLs part A and 20 mLs part B, totaling 40 milliliters of epoxy. I believe this was my facet epoxy, so it was about five hours until this was dry to the touch. I realized that um, I didn't add enough epoxy. I wanted a clear or smooth tumbler. So once this coat was dried, I then went in with another 20 milliliters of epoxy. So 10 mLs part A and 10 mLs part B, totaling 20 milliliters of epoxy. 
I know that everyone's going to work with a different size tumbler. So um, just really make sure that your tumbler is nice and smooth before you add your decal. Um, you don't want to have your tumbler like um, not smooth because once you add that decal, you're going to see that bumpiness underneath that decal. So just make sure that's your goal. If you want to add like very thin coats of epoxy like three or four times, go ahead and do that. Just again, make sure that tumbler is smooth before adding the decal and moving on to the next step. So after my first coat of epoxy, I noticed that my tumbler was very like um, bumpy and stuff. So I tried to sand it and I realized I was going to sand away my glitter and kind of create like craters on my tumbler. And so I was like, you know what, I'm just going to trim the rim and I'm going to just apply my next coat of epoxy so i didn't sand this tumbler i just applied that 20 ml of epoxy over this first coat just to make sure i didn't like sand away any of the glitter or to really make it look like craters on the tumbler if if you guys know what the craters are it's like those little like open holes i didn't want that um, so all I did was, like I said, I just cut around the rim just to get rid of that excess epoxy. And then now you're going to see me go in with my 20 mLs of epoxy. And then you're going to let that cure. And then we'll move on with that next step. Oh, and make sure you wipe your tumbler down with that 91% alcohol before adding your next coat of epoxy. So every single time before I add a new coat of epoxy, I wipe my tumbler down with my 91% alcohol. This just makes sure that you're removing any of the excess oils or any anything that may have added to your tumbler that may cause that epoxy not to stick to your tumbler properly. And once my second coat of epoxy was cured, I'm going to move on with the next step by first things first, removing that excess epoxy from the rim, making sure I have a clean rim, and then taking my 180 grit sanding block and sand away the rim and just make sure you're exposing the tiniest bit of stainless steel on the rim just to make sure you have a nice seal whenever you go to apply that final coat of epoxy. I took the same sanding block and I sanded around the tumbler. The reason why I'm using a 180 grit sanding block and not like a 220 is because I have those two coats of epoxy on my tumbler. So I'm not worried about sanding away that glitter. Make sure you're not sanding hard on your tumbler. Make sure you're just sanding a lot. So you pressing hard on the tumbler isn't really going to do much. Just I found that just sanding a lot is it goes a long ways and it doesn't ruin your tumbler and make it uneven. And then of course, I'm going to take my 91% alcohol and wipe around my tumbler before adding the decal to the tumbler. All right, it's decal making time. So I created a decal that said, hide your crazy and act like a lady. I thought this was a really funny decal and it's kind of like a country decal, I guess. And I really like the colors and Miranda said it. So we're gonna put on a tumbler. <laughs> back on track. Uh, so this tumbler is available on my Etsy shop, or I'm sorry, this decal is available on my Etsy shop. Keep in mind that the decal that you will purchase on my Etsy shop is one, just the file, and two, it's not offsetted, if that makes sense. So all you will purchase is just the decal that says hide your crazy and act like a lady, lady, and then you will put this in design space or whichever program you work with, and then you will offset it. So my offset is that teal, and then I added crazy lady for black, and then I wanted the rest of the text to be white. I really wanted this to pop, and I thought just the regular decal, um, it wouldn't pop enough with the cow print. So please keep that in mind. It's not offset. You can go to my Etsy shop, and you'll see exactly what it looks like. That's what you'll purchase as a digital file. And now I'm going to place my decal on my tumbler using my cup cradle. I will have that linked in my description below. So instead of like making one decal, like adding these layers to one decal, I decided it was a lot easier for me to just add each layer at a time to the tumbler. So I'm going to start with the bottom layer, which is the offset layer and that teal color. I place that on the tumbler first, and then you'll see that I'm just stacking over those other letters and the wording one by one. I always cut my decals down to make them as straight as possible so I don't trick my eyes because if your decal is like crooked on your tumbler, it's just going to really mess up, just mess everything up and it's going to be crooked. 
So you'll see that I am adding the bottom layer and I'm using that same piece of transfer tape over and over again until it like loses its stickiness because you can always use your transfer tape more than once. It does get harder the more you use it, but it saves materials and money. And then I'm adding that text over the teal and then you'll see that I add the crazy lady in black. And I think I actually add crazy separately than lady. Again, you can break down these decals as much as you want, whatever is easiest for you to make this tumbler look gorgeous. And once that decal is placed, I'm going in with my quick coat from CCDIY, which is a urethane sealer. And this allows that decal to really stick to the tumbler and you don't have to worry about your tumbler's decal lifting once you epoxy over your tumbler. I use a very small amount and I let this dry for about 25 minutes before moving on to epoxying the tumbler. I did two final coats of epoxy. So the first coat was about 15 milliliters of epoxy total and then the second coat was about 10 or 12 milliliters of epoxy so i applied that first coat i let that cure and then i applied my second coat i always try to do two thin coats i try not to do like one thick coat anymore because it just sometimes just doesn't look right so the thinner smaller coats one at a time does take a lot longer but I believe that the decals and the tumblers, they just get sealed in better that way and it's not as like bulky, if that makes sense. So do the coats, um, just make sure you can't feel that decal once that epoxy has been cured. So I'm going to let this spin and then we'll move on with the final step. <laughs> And my second coat of epoxy is nice and cured. I'm trying to yank this cup off the tumbler. I'm so excited. So now I'm going to take my X-Acto knife for the last time and I'm going to cut that rim, making sure to remove any of that excess epoxy. And then I'm going to wash out the inside and outside of my tumbler using my Dawn dish soap like I do always, and then add the lid and I'll show you the final tumbler. And here she is, isn't she gorgeous? This is not my style at all, but I was super proud of this tumbler. This was my first cow print tumbler, and I think these are just a hit. I know they blew up like a couple years ago, but they'll be back, don't worry. Like cow print never goes out of style like leopard print. So if you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tumbler and craft videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time.